Hello everyone! Today's game, I have against a person by the name of something which I cannot quite remember, but which will possibly be in the title of the video, which you will probably see and which I will probably see as well, because of course I'm the one who has to type it out. Anyway, we have an NU game here, as you can see, I'm using stuff, uh, which is NU, and he is also doing the same, and he also has a sand shrew. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. That that could be a little bit of a problem, Sandshrew, because I'm kind of scared, because I've never seen one before, and I don't know what the hell it's going to do to me. So I'll lead off with Shitstain, because this is my new favourite guy, Shitstain. He's, he's effing awesome. He just is. So he, what he basically does is he shits up he shits up all his shit. He, he shits up all his shit on the, on the, on the ground. All, he just throws it all out. He's like, I'm flinging shit here, there, everywhere. And uh, that's basically what he does. And then he weak armors, and then after weak armor, the aim of the game is to explode with a normal gem, so that I can kind of get out of the field and, you know, flush myself down the proverbial toilet of the battlefield, but, uh, as you will see, that's, uh, kind of be uh, a little bit negated here, because the sand true is going to, no in fact, knock off my, my normal gem, so I'm going to lose it. Uh, I went for the gunk shot on the sand true there, because I really didn't know what else to do. I didn't want to explode prematurely kind of thing. And uh, he also spun away my T-spike, so I kind of wanted him to, I don't know, switch before I went and laid them up again kind of thing. So I'm going to try and set them up again. He's got stealth rock up in the process and, uh, you know, stuff happened. But uh, I'm going to go for the gunk shot here thinking, obviously, I know I'm going to outspeed Meganium at this point because I have plus two speed thanks to the weak armor boost. And I actually just clean that thing out. I just clean that thing out, down the toilet, just like I should have gone myself, but in fact I didn't. So, at this point I think I can't really kill Sandrew, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to Raichu, because I know he's going to um, spin away the, that stuff, so I want to set up my Rain Dance, this is a Rain Dance, Thunder, Grass, not HP Ice Raichu, and uh, it's called Z uh, Yo Dumb Ass because that's how we British say Zap Yo Dumb Ass. We don't say Zap Yo Dumb Ass, we say Zap Yo Dumb Ass. So that is how it, how it happens. That's how it goes, and that is how I do and stuff. Unfortunately, he's actually going to knock off my Life Orb, which means that this HP Ice isn't going to kill the Sand True, and he's going to be able to mother effing rest. I'm like, oh dear, this Sand True has been walling me. Uh, uh, completely, and it hasn't died yet, and I was about to kill it, it was about to die, and then it didn't die, and I'm like, okay, that's not very good, uh, it really is not very good at all. So, now that I do have the rain up, though, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be wanting to switch out, not wanting to take an HP ice, I'm going to drop a thunder on the switch, predicting that switch, and he goes to regice, which takes thunder really nicely, because regice has like a million special defense, um, and uh, it, al it also has really good special attack, which is why it's going to clean me out with an ice beam, that's not the only reason it's going to clean me out with nice beam of course Raichu has no defenses but uh the second thunder actually gets a paralysis which is uh, that's pretty beneficial i guess um and then this is the funniest thing ever because arbok has intimidate and regice has clear body and that's just like one of the biggest mismatches you'll ever see like that's the most useless thing that would ever take place between those two kind of pokemon like i don't even understand it's pretty hilarious intimidate on a thing which special attacks and yet i don't even need to because it has clear body and it's, it's just that's just ridiculous. But I actually gunk shot and kill it. I uh, don't know why I have two things with gunk shot on this team. I've never actually used gunk shot before uh, because I don't know why. It misses and I generally don't like things that miss. But uh, I decided to use it so that's what happens. Um, Pupitar was kind of death fodder I thought. I was like he's probably in a close combat me and nothing wants to take a close combat. But he actually pulls out the earthquake and I'm like okay well I live that and then I can go to it, this guy Unagi and uh, let me tell you about Unagi guys. Um Basically, I saved this thing, and the, the set was, it was a Smogon set, it was a, um, a Coil Sub, Coil Sub, Wild Charge, and Dragon Tail. Now, the problem is, is that this thing doesn't have Wild Charge. It has Substitute twice, because I saved it incorrectly, and it has Substitute two times, and doesn't have Wild Charge. So, what kind of happens here is I'm like, well, balls, I don't actually have my stab move, but... I can coil, and essentially what he's doing is he's going to Swellow to U-turn on me, to break my sub, then going into Sandrew for whatever reason, I'm not quite sure why, maybe to burn sleep turns, but he doesn't know that I have Dragon Tail, which I reveal to him there, and uh, I Dragon Tail him out to Sandrew, which is perfect, because it allows me to set up the sub again uh, as Swellow comes in, and now I'm thinking, okay, fine, he's probably going to U-turn now, uh, or facade, he's going to facade now, because he can't break my sub with U-turn, um, apart from he 
Yeah, no, no, he, he U-turns there because he thinks he can break my sub. Uh, he's going to facade next time, but I'm going to drag it. I'm losing count here. But all that's basically happening is I'm subbing and coiling and dragon tailing appropriately around the specific moves that he's choosing. And clearly, you know, he's going to U-turn break my sub there. But uh, and if I set up another sub, then he isn't going to have the pleasure of doing so. So uh, I have plus two now because I just got an extra coil on his switch as he broke my sub. And that's very good because in comes Sock, which I can actually now live a close combat from because I have plus two defense, hit him with a dragon tail and uh, it's actually going to take him down to sturdy which is real nice because uh, that's going to allow me to revenge kill that sock later on uh, if I could. Now if I did have wild charge clearly I could have uh, killed this Aloma Mola with the plus two attack that I do have. Unfortunately uh, I don't have wild charge because I'm a moron and I have double substitute so I have to dragon tail it out and then come Santra again. I'm so surprised that this Santra has been lived, lived, yes it has been lived for so long. It has lived itself for this long in the game and it's kind of surprising so uh, I'm on 53 here and I'm like okay swell you can kill me now I'm done that's the end of game I live with one I'm like really Electros like you are amazing I love Electros and it does so much work and people do not give it enough credit for the work that it does but it does so much work and uh, it actually lived the U-turn which is phenomenal uh, not gonna live obviously because poisons are uh, racking up and stuff but there you go uh, Electros did the dirty did the job and and uh, I had to speed up that portion because that was just lots of just coiling and subbing, all that good stuff, uh, essentially. So I go into Arbok here because uh, I'm going to kill it with a Sucker Punch. At least I think I'm going to kill it with a Sucker Punch. But uh, apparently he knows what Arbok does. And he's going to switch to a Lone Mola, not wanting to die to that priority. Uh, which, you know, that's his good job. He does know what Arbok does because otherwise he would be down a sock and I would be up a shoe. So uh, anyway, in comes um, this thing. And it's going to stuff. And I don't like it when it stuffs so I'm gonna go out to Guy the dentist because he has some heavy teeth problems here he needs to sort that out and the dentist is he's okay like I know that I can live a hit because um because I'm the dentist and you know it's, it's good to live hits when you're a dentist I guess, uh, but I'm going to facade because I've got the guts boost, I'm like, okay, we might as well just see how much damage we can do to that thing because it has like a million defense, I'm like well, maybe it'll do a lot, I'm not really sure, but he brings in Sock and I actually have Sucker Punch on this thing as well but he's going to do the exact same thing as what he did with Arbok and he's going to switch to a Loma Mola on my Sucker Punch, so I'm like, well balls, that's kind of terrible I'm not really a fan of that because now he's just kind of toxic stalling me essentially, and um, I know that Facade's not going to kill this thing, so so I'm just going to U-turn out. He's probably going to wish. Uh, if he doesn't wish, then Scald is, it may even kill me. So I'm just going to go out to um, Arbok, and hopefully I'm just going to try and throw some uh, attacks this thing's way and uh, do as much damage as possible. But at this point, I think I've got it fairly safely in the bag. As long as I can clean out Aloma Mola, then um, I shouldn't have too much trouble. Uh, I think the only thing he has left is Sock, so uh, it shouldn't be too bad. But he actually is going to realize that uh, I, I've pretty much done him over and he can't can't really beat the guys that I have left so he's going to run and uh, that's going to be the game so uh, it was a pretty interesting NU game, uh, relatively long uh, could have been avoided that length if I had given Electros wild charge and I could have killed the Alolomolomola but uh, uh, alas alas indeed I, I didn't because I had double sub because double sub for the win, man. Double sub for the win. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, then you can always leave a like rating. Uh, that would be very helpful, appreciated, and beneficial in multiple ways on multiple spectrums of the stuff. And I am going to say that you can check out the social links as well, which are the Twitter, Facebook, and thumbnail, all the subscription. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.